Welcome back my gardening friends. Well, I'm having a little play with the grapevine again and uh, this is one of the bunches that uh, is looking uh, pretty good and some of the bunches aren't really forming very well uh, including these at the base of the vine. So all these are going to uh, come out and any others that I find that are not quite up to scratch. So that one can go. Very difficult to film this high up, but now I've spaced out the bunches to about a foot apart. Uh, most of them are doing okay. Um, that was, that was, yeah, there's a little one at the back there. Oh no, I think that's on the same. I'm gonna get rid of it. Don't mess about and yeah i'm pretty happy now with uh, what i'll have left uh, let's just get uh, rid of that one so it's very difficult to actually see guys but yeah so it looks like they didn't uh, they're not growing very well in this corner so I might as well get rid of those we've got more and more shoots coming I'm leaving them now I don't want to kill that one and the one in the corner I've literally stripped most of any grapes that have formed there's some in that corner difficult to see especially with this bright sunshine but I'm happy how this boss grows, boss coop glory has actually done, other than losing this one in the corner. But there's loads now being trained everywhere. So we should have a nice little canopy in here. I may restrict the light a little. But if I get some good grapes, that's all I'm worried about. Let's go and have a look at the manure bin. Now this is the manure bin runoff, so we've got some uh, really fresh horse manure in here. Now this was almost to the top, I think this will take another 8 bags, but there's 25 bags in there. And we've actually got uh, quite a bit of good stuff in there. And I would imagine there's eight litres in there. So let's get some out and top one of the cans up. We don't want it overflowing. These cans uh, used to have add blue in. Uh, I'll collect those. They're an ideal size container for me to collect my juices in. But uh, this is like treacle. Mick Poultney would be uh, really proud of this. Certainly, yeah, uh, good stuff. I'm never going to get to the bottom of this container, just tipping it out. But this is what uh, would normally uh, run away, exactly like the compost bin runoff. So as it drops down and rots away, I'll collect the juices and I may be able to add this to my magic mix in a very small quantity. Not going to get much more out of there, as long as it doesn't overflow. put the lid on. How many of us kicked over before? No, pleased with that. That's uh, going to be a, a, another really good asset as having the rotted manure for my plants throughout the season now. It'll probably stay in there for uh, well as long as it takes. I'm not really worried. 
just while we're at the compost bins uh, I'll put a courgette uh, in this corner and uh, a courgette there so I'm watering from the back and I'm collecting the valuable juices and when I put my potato uh, compost back in here I noticed I've got something that looked very much like a cucumber growing at the back so let it grow we'll see what we get from it volunteer things always seem to produce better than ones that we actually plant this is the top half of an IBC um, I managed to get hold of this today it was left by the uh, allotment uh, shop for somebody else to use it looks like somebody's taken it out of the wire cage tried to use it and it's all bellied out but now it's had the top cut off it's going to make an ideal place for me to collect the clean juices from the nettle and uh, comfrey tea that we've got stewing away in those two blue barrels in the middle of the screen some of you may have seen how I've done it before normally I use um, a blue barrel and put that inside but of course what have I done I've used them all for my giant vegetables and uh, planting so I've been looking for something for ages and this just looked at me and I instantly thought chop it down put my wire basket in and let's get the juices in so this is um, a waste paper basket metal with the uh, holes in so I'll just give you a little demonstration and I won't bore you too much well I've got me long gloves on T because she did notice that uh, I was getting in a bit of a mess I have given this a good stir before I start. Now, this pipe is off my IBCs from the allotment, I use these, uh, swap them around, but that's uh, coming very useful for this one as well, just to direct it uh, cleanly into the bucket. And I'll be able to uh, put this now into some containers because I want to uh, do some more nettle tea so I need to get as much out of uh, this as I can as you can see and I can smell uh, you can see now that we're, we're not far away from that but I'm going to be leaving this in and adding more nettles but I need to get as much of this juice out as I can and then eventually I will mix all the nettle together the nettles are collected now which aren't as notch nitrogen rich as uh, the, the ones without the seeds and hopefully I'll have enough then to uh, last throughout the winter and into uh, next summer ready to collect the next harvest just move now to the comfrey this hasn't been disturbed so you know what's going to happen and this is topped up regular and uh, just keep stirring it up but roots uh, the stems as well in this and I'll do exactly the same with this making sure I don't mix the containers up that's all I do just keep rolling it and it's uh, fermenting uh, nicely as I can smell and as you can see comfrey pipe well it just seemed a little bit slow this year but there again I may have had too much uh, contamination and as you can see the ropes right at the top so this needs filling up again uh, one minute it's uh, doesn't seem like it's doing anything and the next minute it just disappears so more comfrey leaves in this one well today is the longest day the start of summer 
I don't know how it can be the start of summer but uh, happy composting to you all Till next time my friends to half for now don't forget to join us on the Facebook group Keep Calm and Make Compost where you'll learn and share from other people's experiences how to compost in different ways what you can compost, what you can't liquid plant foods and anything else compost related ta -da! Remember, never leave the cap tight, always leave it open, else it will push out and explode all over you.